okay dear students in this class we will discuss about the relation between electric field and electric potential electric field means the reason around the electric charge is called electric field electric potential means the amount of charge bringing from infinity to that point or the amount of work done to bring the unit positive charge from infinity to that point against the direction of electric field is called electric potential now i am going to discuss about the relation between electric potential and electric field relation between electric potential and electric field that is relation between electric field and electric potential here electric field is mathematically denoted by the symbol e and electric potential is mathematically denoted by the symbol phi electric field it is mathematically denoted by the symbol e and electric potential it is denoted by the symbol phi here relation between electric potential and electric field or it is also called as prove that e is equal to minus dv divided by dx consider two points a and b consider two points a and b here the electric field is at this point e is the electric field the electric field is produced at point a due to the point charge q the electric field is produced at point a due to the point charge q at point q due to the point charge q at point q then the amount of unit to positive charge or one coulomb of charge move from point a to b through a certain distance dx here e is the electric field e is the electric field at a point a due to the point charge q at a point q the relation between electric field and electric potential electric potential means the amount of work done in bring a unit to positive charge from infinity to that point or move from one point to another point but here i consider one coulomb of unit to positive charge moves from point a to b through a certain distance dx certain amount of work done is here we know the formula when a one coulomb of positive charge moves from point a to b the work done is dw work done is equal to it is the product of force and displacement here in this case the force f is equal to e force f is equal to e therefore when i am one coulomb of positive charge moves from point a to b against the direction of electric field we get the equation dw is equal to minus e into dx through a distance dx here the negative sign indicates the electric field the electric field and the distance from a to b or unit positive charge moves from a to b they are in opposite direction here one coulomb of unit positive charge moves from point a to b in this direction but here the electric field is produced at point a due to the test charge plus q at point o they are opposite to each other that's why here we write negative symbol that is dw is equal to minus e into dx it is equation number 1 but the amount of work done in bringing a unit positive charge from one point to another point this is called electric potential it is called electric potential electric potential at that point is defined as the amount of work done in bringing a unit positive charge from one point to another point or infinity to that point against the direction of electric field is called 
electric potential therefore here in this case electric potential dv is equal to dw electric potential dv is equal to dw therefore equation one can be written as dv is equal to minus e into dx dv is equal to minus e into dx or electric field e is equal to minus dv divided by dx electric field e is equal to minus dv divided by dx where dv divided by dx it indicates potential gradient at that point dv divided by dx it indicates potential gradient at that point hence the electric field the electric field at that point the electric field at that point is equal to is equal to the potential gradient or negative potential gradient at that point therefore e is equal to minus dv divided by dx this is the relation between this is the relation between electric field and electric potential electric field at that point is equal to negative potential gradient at that point which is called the relation between electric field and electric potential the next concept of your topic is difference between electric field intensity and electric potential or the difference between electric intensity and electric potential here the electric intensity it means or electric intensity at that point electric intensity at that point is defined as the force experienced the force experienced by the unit to positive charge suppose here we consider the point a and b the point a and b here the electric field is produced due to any other point charge but here the force experienced by the one coulomb of unit to positive charge the force experienced by the one coulomb of unit to positive charge at that point is called electric intensity the electric intensity at a point is defined as the force experienced due to the one coulomb of charge at that point one coulomb of charge at that point is called electric intensity electric potential already i have discussed the definition of electric potential electric potential means the amount of work done in bringing a unit to positive charge that is one coulomb of unit to positive charge bringing from infinity to that point against the direction of electric field against the direction of electric field is called electric potential the difference between electric intensity and electric potential electric intensity means the force experienced by the unit to positive charge at that point it is the force experienced by the unit to positive charge or one coulomb of positive charge at that point against the direction of electric field is called electric intensity or electric field intensity electric potential means it is the amount electric potential at that point is defined as the amount of work done in bringing a unit to positive charge from infinity to that point against the direction of electric field is called electric potential this is the first difference and the second difference is electric intensity it is a vector quantity electric intensity is a vector quantity electric potential is a scalar quantity vector quantity and a scalar quantity vector quantity means it's having both magnitude and direction but electric potential is having only magnitude but not direction that's why electric intensity is a vector quantity electric potential is a scalar quantity here the electric potential due to the point charge is equal to or electric intensity sorry electric intensity due to the point charge is equal to the algebraic sum of all the electric intensities at that point electric intensity due to the point charge at that point is equal to 
the algebraic sum of all the electric intensities that point. Then mathematically that equation can be written as that is vector E is equal to E1 plus E2 plus E3 so on up to EL. Here the V is the electric potential. Electric potential due to the point charge at that point is equal to algebraic sum of all the electric potential at that point. All the electric potential at that point. This is the second difference. First difference is electric intensity definition and electric potential definition. Here electric intensity is a vector quantity. Electric potential is a scalar quantity. And the SI unit of electric intensity is the electric intensity at that point is defined as the force experienced by the force experienced by the unit positive charge at that point is called electric intensity. Here electric intensity that is E is equal to F divided by Q force per unit charge. The SI unit of electric intensity is the SI unit of force is Newton. The SI unit of charge is Coulomb. Then the SI unit of electric intensity is Newton per Coulomb. Then the SI unit of electric potential is electric potential means the amount of work done in bringing a unit positive charge from infinity to that point. Here the work done per unit charge electric potential is mathematically denoted by the symbol V. V is equal to W divided by Q. The SI unit of W the work done is Joule and the SI unit of charge is Coulomb. The SI unit of electric potential is Joule per Coulomb and the electric field intensity due to the point charge the electric field intensity due to the point charge or the expression for electric field intensity due to the point charge is E is equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught Q divided by R square already we will discuss about the concept of electric field intensity or electric field due to the point charge we get the equation E is equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught Q divided by R square. Then electric potential due to the point charge. We get the equation P is equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught Q divided by R. These are the difference between electric field intensity and electric potential. Thank you.